can I press you as we end, uh, uh, Bishop, to uh, uh, share with us any books uh, that are relevant to the, the issues that we've been talking about and maybe some of your favorite books that you'd want to, uh, to share. Uh, the people that watch this show absolutely love books. So do you have any books to share? Yes, I do. Um, you'll forgive me, they are not on grief and <laughs> healing. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> These are books that, you know, have really, you know, influenced my life. Obviously, it yeah. goes without saying. The Bible. <laughs> that, you know, this book is number one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you don't expect a different answer. No, okay? absolutely. <laughs> this book is number one. <laughs> yeah. I've read this book since 1972. Mm. I read it daily. Yeah. Uh, today, actually, I'm celebrating a second round this year of reading from Genesis to Genesis Revelation. Revelation. Wow. Yes, we just got to the end. There's a group of us that have been doing this, um, and we just got to the end of the second round, you know, for me. So uh, I'll be starting next month. I'll be starting on the third round. So can I can I share with important. can I share with you also? I, I started this habit uh, uh, after my good friend uh, Strive Masiwa challenged me to it. I, I now read uh, the Bible at least once, if not twice a year, uh, from Genesis uh, to Revelations. And it has helped me quite a lot in understanding what the word is all about. And, you know, you, it's amazing that every reading, you keep on discovering new things. So that's yeah. a habit that I really would encourage uh, every Christian to do, rather than depending on the pastor to read the Bible yeah. for you on Sunday. Yeah. There's a washing. There's a Absolutely. washing that happens. Ephesians 5.26 talks about the washing of the regeneration yes. of the water of the word. Yes. It just washes your spirit. Uh, you go to Psalms. I, I like the fact that we can be so secure in our, in our faith that we can ask questions. Yes. We can interrogate our faith. Yes. And, and, you know, Psalms is one of those places where you can ask questions and challenge yeah. Yeah. situations you know david goes to god and says god what what's 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 going on here yeah. i mean job why, why are you silent <laughs> you know are you that kind of stuff so number yeah. one book number That's one is great this. i mean yeah. we can talk all after all you know, absolutely this, yeah. yeah the second book that that i'd recommend is a book called in his steps uh -huh. by charles sheldon mm -hmm. you know i read this book as a young believer and i want to tell you it just impacted my life so much. It talks about what Jesus would do in any situation, mm -hmm. following in his footsteps. Um, it's, it, it, it just impacted my life. And then you've come across this one quite, you know, often. Uh, yes, Carnegie, yes, yes. How to win friends and influence people. <laughs> yes. I'm telling you in terms of my relationships, this guy set my tone. Wow. It, talk to people out here, conversations, powerful book that, you know, impacted me. I read it as a young believer and I still read it today. Fantastic. Um, there's a, a book by Leroy M. Ems, The Leader, Be the Leader You Were Meant to Be. Mm. Uh, influenced my leadership style and, you know, philosophy. And uh, another one, John Edison, What Makes a Leader. Just a mm. small little book. Mm. Um, these are books that have really you know, impacted my life.